Hello and welcome to the KUSports.com Film Breakdown. I am Scott Chasen. Today we'll be taking a look at Peyton Bender, KU's starting quarterback, JUCO product, former Washington State quarterback. Bender got the start in Game 1. He threw for 364 yards, 4 touchdowns. First time a Kansas quarterback had done either of those things since Todd Reesing. Now, obviously, far from a historic performance by any measure, but when you put it all into context, if he were to have those numbers over his next two games, he would surpass both the yard and touchdown total of KU's leading passer Montel Cozart last season. Some fans, though, not impressed with the play of the quarterback. He did throw two interceptions. The KU offense as a whole only put up 38 points. One year ago, against Rhode Island in the opener, they put up 55 points behind quarterbacks Montel Cozart and Ryan Wills. So let's look at his two interceptions on Saturday. You see the first one, a little bit of pressure from the right side, but that wasn't really a factor in this play. Bender looking for Jeremiah Booker. The ball is underthrown. However, David Beatty actually talked about this play at his weekly press conference. He absolved Bender of some of the blame. As we go back and look at the first pick that he throws, uh, I think we were a little, a little deep on that route, which... That'll affect the timing sometimes, and um, you know it's just got a, a chance to keep you off of off of being on the same page when you're not at the right depth. So, Beatty would add to that statement. He said in real time it looked like there were quite a few throws that were either underthrown, overthrown, or just misplaced. But when he went back on film, what he saw was oftentimes a case of mistiming or miscommunication, usually on the wide receiver and not even on Bender. So now let's go to the second interception. Again, you see the pocket is relatively clean. Bender takes a deep shot. Maybe he'll advise given the score clock situation. It's picked off. It's definitely an underthrown ball, but interesting enough for some extra perspective. Calling the game, a former Chiefs wide receiver in Danon Hughes. Here's what he had to say in the call. This is an underthrown ball, but Harrell has to do a better job of dislodging. We talked about Steve Sims and what he did last year right there. You have to become a defensive back and knock the ball away. Even if you get a penalty, do not allow the defender to come down with that interception. The play Hughes referencing there, you see now it was against Texas. The game Kansas won in overtime. Kansas down three in field goal range with 12 seconds left. Redshirt freshman Carter Stanley throws into double coverage, and this ball should have been picked off. But Steven Sims in the end zone in no position to catch the ball, wrestles it away pretty much from the ground once he was already out of bounds, once the play was pretty much already over. Now obviously last Saturday didn't call for such dramatics with the Jayhawks ahead by 22 with 5 minutes left. That being said, Bender shouldered all of the blame for his mistakes, even what his coach absolved him for. Here's what he had to say about his performance. You know on the two interceptions on the first one, I just I, I tried to throw it a little bit too early and didn't let... Booker get into his route um, long enough, and then on the second one, I just under threw Chase. So, you know, those are fixable. Um, you know, my eyes are in the right spot on both of them. I just didn't make the best throw. And then, uh, you know, other than that, um, you know, I thought I did a good job. I think we were converted uh, in all our third and mediums, but, you know, we put ourselves in bad position on third and long, which I noticed where we have to do a better job on first and second downs. So that's an emphasis going into this week. You know, we just want to clean up what we can do on first and second down and make it easier for us on the third on those third downs. 